afternoon. This is Heather from Full Circle Plant Probiotic and I wanted to show our customers and any viewers on our website some ways of starting seeds with our product. Um, my first option here is I have soil already placed in our little pots and I have some basil seeds. So what I would normally do, sometimes I do many pots all at once, I take, this is a full circle straight out of the bag. What I do is I sprinkle all along on the top this is like for when you do large quantities or if you're just in a hurry. But the important thing about getting the full circle plant probiotic on your soil and in the soil for your seeds is to give them that jump start. It's like a soil accelerator. It gets the plants going, the roots absorb the nutrients much more efficiently. So I just mix that in real lightly, and then I take my basil seed, which is very small, and I just kind of sprinkle some on the top, and that gets them a little boost. My soil is just a regular basic mix, no um, nutrients added to that, except our full circle plant probiotic. So then I just kind of briefly tap those seeds in, and that's to give them a little start. And of course, we would water. And I'd do a lot more after the video. That's one way of starting your seeds to get them a jump start. Another way is I had some tomato seeds. Now I have well water. Um, I put a little bit in this quart jar. Um, if you have city water, any type of municipal water, I would let that sit for maybe 12 hours or so or overnight before you put your um, plant probiotic or your seeds in it because to get rid of the chlorine. Um, so what I did, I just put in, you know, maybe about a teaspoon in this much water, mixed it up a little, and I have my tobacco seeds in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour it through this little sifter so I can find my seeds. And you can see them in there. So I'm just going to pluck them out and put them right in the soil. Now what this does, the seeds may start taking up a little bit of water, plus they get inoculated directly with the plant probiotic and get those good microorganisms straight in there for a good start. So I have those, that's all set, and I can water in. Now what I would normally do at my greenhouse is after these germinate and the seedlings get up to so far, I would go around and then top dress with some more full circle. So those would come up. Another way for any seeds is to get to your pots. They are empty and you have your soil. Um, it's windy out here today so this might blow a little bit. And what you can do is take some of your full circle and mix it up with a ratio. Um, I'm just kind of guessing here but I'm going to go to like one part full circle to about four, four parts soil. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I would just directly mix that up. Now this is a good way to do your seeds and you go ahead and fill your pots. Now that is directly mixed into the soil all the way down throughout the pot. So when this plant grows it's not necessary to keep adding it right away. Maybe when the plants are bigger and they get more root bound before you transplant, I'd do it again. But there you have it. When the roots get going, they've got that full circle right there where they could get started and get a jump start on their growing. So that's just a way to get your seeds started. And we have three types of full circle plant probiotic available. We have the two pound bag, the three pound bag which covers 300 square feet for gardens and also now in certain retail centers we have the nine pound container. So that's it for today. I'll be back another day to show you some more uses on your full circle plant probiotic.